Hi and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today we get to review a Nord Green Pioneer Chronograph, a watch I unboxed recently. I shared my first impressions in that video, but now that I've spent some time with it, let's see what's what. Nord Green is a relatively new brand from Denmark that does minimalist design watches like so many other brands today. But Nord Green does seem like they put slightly more effort into the design of their pieces, unlike some other brands where it is pretty clear they simply order ready-made watches from Chinese suppliers and slap their logos on them. The cases are particularly interesting, as they're a blend of industrial and organic. On this particular model, the all brushed case and these large sturdy pushers give a very industrial feel and look. But then you take a look at the roundness of it and the way the lugs leave the case and it looks very organic, almost like nature shaped the watch. When I was doing my detailed shots of it, I couldn't help but notice the watch looks like a turtle with the lugs being its legs. I don't know if you can see it like I do, but it was another argument for the organic design claim. All in all, the case feels very well built, while being original in design and wears comfortably thanks to a very universal diameter of 41.5 mm. What is even more important for smaller wristed guys, the lug to lug is only 46.5, so pretty much anyone can wear this watch without the lugs sticking out. Despite the humble lug to lug, the watch gives out a lot bigger presence as the dial is almost the entire size of the watch. So you basically have a 40mm dial, while for example a Seiko SKX007 that has roughly the same case size has a dial at around 30mm in diameter. The result is a huge difference in wrist presence from these two watches. So even though the specs would make this watch fit perfectly on my 6.7 inch wrist, I find the dial too big for my taste. But luckily I can look past it, as the dial itself is pretty stunning. It has one of the nicest executions of a blue sunburst effects I have ever seen. The shade moves from all black to this rich indigo blue with a hint of green in some lighting situations. The organic theme is continued here as well, as the dial and subdials are a single part with gently executed sunken effect, like someone melted the subdials. There are no sharp edges or transitions here. The text is kept to a bare minimum, so beside the Nord Green branding at 12 o'clock, there is nothing else written on the dial. On the one hand, it helps in making the watch look minimalistic and cool, but on the other, the lack of any numerals, even on the chronograph subdial, means the functionality is questionable to say the least. Despite the lack of numerals and any loom, the legibility is surprisingly good. The hands are very long and the hour and minute hand are visible in almost all situations except total darkness, as they reflect even the tiniest amount of light. I also like the proper color coding of the hands, where the hands used to tell the time have blue and white details and the hands used for the chronograph have red ones. It makes it almost impossible to confuse one for the other. The one thing that hurts the legibility is the curved sapphire crystal. It does look cool and works well with the shape of the case, but it is incredibly reflective, which can be a bit annoying at times. The movement used is a Miyota Mecha Quartz, a battery-powered quartz movement that gives the chronograph seconds hand a mechanical-looking sweep. Unlike a Seiko Mecha Quartz, this one mechanically resets only the minute hand of the chronograph, while the seconds hand is reset using a motor, like on conventional quartz watches. This has its flaw in the fact it doesn't feel as mechanical as the Seiko one but it also has an advantage of giving you the ability to fine-tune the position of the hand if it ever gets misaligned. What both movements share is the fact they will work more reliably and more accurately than any mechanical movement, regardless of the price point. Speaking of the price, these go for $280, which is an okay price for the specs you get. You have the option of choosing a range of straps, from the metal mesh bracelet to a whole color range of leather straps. 
They even offer vegan leather straps for those who don't like the idea of animals being killed for their hides. The Nordgreen Pioneer is a nice watch for the price that has some original design elements. Although I do like it, I originally wanted another model from their collection that was even more original than this. Sadly, it was out of stock back then, but I do hope they get it back, as I would love to review that model as well. Well, that completes this week's video, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and until the next video, bye.